Frederick Brown was an American science fiction, fantasy, and mystery fiction writer, who was well known for his use of humor and his mastery of the so-called short, short form of storytelling. That is, short stories of one to three pages length, often with ingenious plotting devices and surprise endings. One of his stories, titled Arena, was even adapted to a 1967 episode of the American television series Star Trek. But according to his wife, Frederick Brown in fact hated to write. So he did everything he could to avoid it. If Brown had trouble working out a certain story, he would hop on a long bus trip and just sit and think for days on end. And when Brown finally returned home and started writing again, he could produce work in a variety of genres. Mystery, science fiction, fantasy, comedy. Sometimes, all of the above. Brown was born in Cincinnati, and began to sell short stories to American magazines from 1936. His first science fiction story, titled Not Yet the End, was published in the winter 1941 issue of the magazine, Captain Future. But it was his aforementioned short story, Arena, which was voted by American science fiction writers as one of the top 20 sci-fi stories written before 1965. And his 1945 short story, titled The Waveries, was described by writer Philip K. Dick as maybe the most significant story sci-fi has yet produced. Indeed, startingly so. Finally, in his book, On Ugliness, the philosopher and novelist, Umberto Eco, described Brown's short story The Sentry, as one of the finest short stories produced by contemporary science fiction, and used its twist ending as an example of how ugliness and aesthetics can be relative to different cultures. If you would like to hear this story for yourself, please click on the link below, and be sure to come back soon for more animated videos about classic science fiction, space opera and fantasy. Thanks for watching.